Today we're going to make farm animals out of Play-Doh. Which animal shall we make first? Let's open this barn door. What farm animal is this? It's a horse. Wow, it's turned into a Play-Doh cutter. Hmm, what color shall we make our horse? Let's turn the wheel. Where's it going to stop? On the color purple. First, we need to roll the Play-Doh out really flat. It needs to be flat so we can press our shape into it. That looks about right. Now, where's my shape cutter? Oh, yes, it's over here. Come on, little horse. Now, let's press it into the Play-Doh. Wow, it looks amazing. Let's decorate the horse. I'll put the tail on here and its mane. I'll use a brown color for its feet or hooves. And last, let's give the horse an eye. We made a beautiful purple colored horse. This is a field of horses. They come in many different colors. Some are white, some are brown, and some are black. I wonder what farm animal's hiding behind this door. It's a cow. We have the cutter. Now let's go pick a color. Let's spin the wheel. What color is it? It's the color blue. I have my ball of Play-Doh. Let's go roll it out. All done. Now where's that cutter? Here it is. Let's make the cow. Pressing it into the Play-Doh. Oh, wow! I'll just remove this extra Play-Doh around the edges. I'll place the tail here and a spot here and here. What type of cow is it? I think it's a Frisian cow because it has spots. And I'll just put the eye here and another one here. All done! We made a cute blue colored cow. This is a field of cows. They're grazing on the grass. Can you guess what farm animal might be hiding behind this door? You guessed right! It's a chicken! We have our chicken cutter. Come on, let's go pick a color to make our chicken. What color is it going to land on? The spinning wheel stopped on the color yellow. I have my Play-Doh ball and I'll use my rolling pin to roll it out nice and flat. And get my chicken cutter, here it is, and press it into the Play-Doh. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Oh, it looks awesome. It's got so much detail. Use a red color for the chicken crest and give it a green tail. What else? Oh, it needs an eye. And we're all done. We made a bright yellow chicken. These are free range chickens on the farm. They can roam wherever they want to. It looks like they're trying to find food in the grass. We're back at the barn. What's behind this door? It's a white fluffy sheep. Oh, here's our cutter. Let's go pick a color. The spinning wheels landed on the color pink. I have my pink ball of Play-Doh. Let's roll it out. All done. I'll just get my cutter and place it into the dough. Oh, how cute. It's a little pink sheep. I'll give it a white colored face and put it right here. That looks about right. And place an eye here and another one here. And I'll give it some little white legs and little brown feet. All done! We've made a pink sheep. Wow, look at all the sheep on the hill. Do you think we could count them all? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there's just too many to count. Let's go back to the barn. What's behind this door? Hmm. It's a pig. Well, we have our cutter. 
Now let's go find a color. Where's it going to stop? Oh, it stopped on the color orange. Let's roll out the ball of Play-Doh. Great, it's nice and flat. Now where's my cutter? Here it is, press it down. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's so cute. We made a little orange piggy wiggy. I'll give it some pink ears and a pink snout and some little brown feet. And two eyes, that's one and two. We made a little orange colored pig. Oh, these are cute little baby pigs. They're called piglets. Let's open the big barn doors. What's inside? Oh, it's a red tractor. Let's take a closer look. Do you think we could make this out of Play-Doh? We have our cutter. Let's go make our tractor. Oh, but first, let's pick a color. Spin the wheel. It's landed on green. Let's roll out the Play-Doh. It's nice and flat. Now all I need to do is press the cutter into the dough. Remove the cutter and we've made our tractor. Let's give it some black colored wheels and white hubcaps. And all done. We made a green frog tractor. Here's a little red barn. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, there's a Play-Doh cutter inside. Let's go make a barn. What color is it going to land on? Oh, it's landed on the color red. Let's roll out the Play-Doh. All done. And get the cutter and press it into the dough. Remove it and take away the extra Play-Doh around the edges. We don't need that. And now let's decorate our barn. I'm going to use this white color for around the edges. I'll just cut it here. And now I'll make the doors. And place this white piece around the edges. Nearly done. Place a piece here in the middle and some crosses on each door. And I'll use some blue for the window. We made a big red barn. Wow, look at what we made today. We made a pink sheep a blue cow, a purple horse, an orange pig, a yellow chicken, a red barn, and a green tractor. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Rainbow. Today we're going to make sea animals out of Play-Doh. Which one shall we pick first? How about this one? Hmm. What sort of sea animal is this shape? Can you guess? That's right, it's a dolphin. Let's go and make it. I have some blue dough. That'll be a great color. And let's roll it out with a rolling pin. We need to roll it out really flat so we can make our shape. I'll put the shape cutter into the middle of the dough and press it down. Pull it out. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it looks amazing. I'll just peel this off here. And now we can decorate it. Here's an eye. And a little mouth. And its belly. And a fin. 
Great, we made our first animal, the dolphin. Did you know that dolphins are one of the smartest marine animals? And they like to travel around together in groups called pods. That was fun. Now, which sea animal shall we pick next? How about this one? Can you guess which sea animal this is? Hmm. That's right, it's a turtle. Now, I think I'll use a green color this time and roll it out really flat so we can make our shape. That looks about right. Now, I'll just get my cutter and put it in the middle here, press it down. Oh, I can't wait to see what it looks like. It looks amazing. Let's start decorating it. There's an eye and a smile and a turtle has a shell on its back. And I'll place a few little dots here. Oh, that looks perfect. We made a sea turtle. Sea turtles spend most of their lives in shallow water. And when they look for food, they can travel for miles. Amazing. We've made already the dolphin and the sea turtle. What shape shall we make next? Hmm, let's see, how about this one? Oh, that's an unusual shape. What sort of sea animal do you think this is? That's right, it's a seahorse. I'll just put the shape cutter up here and choose my Play-Doh. This time I'm going to use the color purple. I'll roll it out nice and flat. Play-Doh needs to be long so I can fit my shape in the middle. Here we go, press it down and pull it out carefully. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'll just remove the dough around the outside to reveal the shape. Let's start decorating. There's an eye and I'll use pink for its belly. And I'll just use my Play-Doh tool to give it some detail, making straight lines all the way down. Looks great. And now for the frilly bit on top of the seahorse. Oh, that looks lovely, a pink mane. We made a purple seahorse. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that seahorses can change their color depending on their location? What sea animal shall we make next? How about this one? Do you recognize this sort of shape? That's right, it's a fish. And this one's a clownfish. I'll put my shape over here. And this time I'll use the color orange. And let's roll out the dough really flat. That looks about right. Now, I'll get my cutter and place it in the middle. Press it down, move it around. And take the cutter out and remove the dough. Here's an eye and a mouth with a nice smile. And let's put some stripes on the back. I'll use white with some black outline. And make another stripe. Looks great! We made a clownfish! Oh look! The fish is blowing bubbles! Clownfish like to live in warmer water and they live in coral reefs. Which sea animal shall we pick next? How about this one? Can you guess which sea animal this is? That's right! It's a starfish! I'll place it down here and this time I'm going to use the color yellow. And roll it out. And get my star cutter and place it in the middle. Press it down and wriggle it around. Now remove the dough on the outside. Here's one eye, two eyes, and a nice
nice smile. And we'll put some pretty decorations around the outside. We made a colorful starfish. Did you know that starfish don't actually swim? But they crawl and they can climb up rocks. Now, which shape shall we make next? How about this one? The pink one. Hmm, what is it? That's right, it's an octopus. I'll just put it over here. And we'll use this bright pink dough to make our shape. And roll it out. And I'll just get my cutter and place it in the middle. Press it down. Wriggle it about. Take it out. Looks amazing. Now, first I'll put some eyes on the octopus. Great. And now for a big smile. Because he's really happy. And some dots. <laughs> Looks great. And some purple decoration on its tentacles. We made a pink octopus. Can you guess how many tentacles an octopus has? That's right, it has eight. There are only two shapes left. Which one shall we make? How about this one over here, the red one? What sort of sea creature is this? That's right, it's a crab. Now I'll put it up here and I'll use the red dough. Roll it out. Get my shape cutter, press it down and wriggle it around, and carefully take it out. I'll give it two eyes and a mouth. Now I'll make some claws for the crab. And give it some feet. Looks great! We made a red crab. Did you know that crabs have ten legs and they mostly walk sideways? What's the last sea animal we're going to make? Hmm, can you guess this shape? It's a whale! I'll put it over here and I'll use this dark blue color. Roll it out nice and flat and place the cutter in the middle. Pressing it down, wriggle it around. Let's give the whale an eye and place some white on its belly and give it a little smile and a blue fin. Oh, and don't forget its water spout. And here's the water. Fantastic, we made a blue whale. Whales are mammals and they don't have gills like fish, so they breathe air like us. Wow, look at all the beautiful sea creatures we made today. We made a starfish, a crab, a clownfish, a dolphin, a seahorse, a turtle, a whale, and an octopus. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Rainbow. Today we're making animals out of Play-Doh. What animal shall we make first? Can you guess which animal this is? That's right, it's a lion! Now, which color shall we use to make the lion? Hmm... No, not blue. No, not green. How about this color? Yes, let's use the color orange. Let's go make our lion. I have my orange ball of Play-Doh. Now I'll use my rolling pin to roll it out really flat so I can make my lion shape. I'll get my cutter and place it into the middle of the dough. Pressing it down, push the button, and carefully take it out. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Oh wow, we made a lion. Now we 
ready to decorate it. I'll give it a yellow mane and a brown tail, black nose and eyes. We made a lion. This lion is going for a walk in the savanna. Isn't he beautiful? What shall we make next? I can't wait to see what we find. What is it? Oh, it's a butterfly. Let's go choose our color to make our butterfly. Hmm, what shall we use? How about this one? Yes, let's use the color purple. I'll just place a ball of Play-Doh here and roll it out really flat. Now I'll get my butterfly shape and place it into the middle of the dough. Press it down. Push the button and carefully take it out. Remove the extra dough. And let's take a look. Wow, looks amazing. Now we're ready to decorate the wings. I'll give it the body and some antennae and two eyes. Oh, looks beautiful. We made a butterfly. A butterfly is an insect. And did you know a butterfly has actually four wings? I can't wait to see what animal we'll make next. Can you? Mmm, where is it? Ah, I think I got it. It's an elephant. Now let's go choose a color. Hmm, maybe not pink or purple. Oh, no, not green. Hmm. Oh, I know. How about this color at the end? The color gray. Yes, let's go make our elephant. I'll roll out the gray ball really flat. And now get the elephant cutter and place it in the middle. Remember to push it down. Press the button. And take it out. Boop. There we go. And remove the extra dough. Now we can decorate our elephant. I'll give the elephant some dark gray ears. And what else? Some eyes. And it's all done. We made an elephant. Here are two elephants having a drink. Elephants are really big. They are the largest land animal. I wonder what the next animal will be. Hmm, I found something. Oh, here it is. Can you guess what animal this is? <laughs> That's right, it's a frog. Well done. Now let's choose a color. Hmm, what color do you think? How about we use this color? The color green. Let's go make the frog. Roll the dough out really flat. Looks great. I'll get my frog cutter and place it in the middle again. Pushing it down, pressing the button. And let's take a look at what we've made. <laughs> we made a happy frog. We'll give it two eyes and a red tongue. We made a green frog. Frogs have really strong legs that can help them jump long distances. Look how far this frog can jump. Whoa, amazing. Well done, little frog. We've made four animals so far. What is the fifth one going to be? What is it? Oh, it's a giraffe. Let's choose a color for our giraffe. Hmm, how about this color? Yes, let's use the color yellow. I'll roll out the dough really nice and smooth and flat. Get my cutter and place it again in the middle of the dough. Pushing it down the button and take it out. And let's 
let's take a look at what it looks like. Carefully remove the giraffe from the cutter. Oh, wow! It's got a really long neck. We'll give it some spots and a tail and an eye. We made a giraffe. This is a giraffe in the wild. They are very tall animals with long legs and long necks. This helps them to reach high up in the trees so they can eat the leaves. Let's find our next animal. Hmm, I think I've got it. Here it is. What is it? Can you guess? <laughs> That's right, it's a zebra. Let's choose a color for our zebra. Hmm, maybe not red. No, not yellow. Ah, how about this color? We'll use the color blue. We'll place the dough here and start rolling it out. Now, where's the zebra cutter? Here it is. And I'll place it in the middle. Push it down, press the button, and take it out. Remove the extra dough. And let's see what it looks like. Oh, wow! It's even got stripes. Let's decorate our zebra. I'll put a whole lot of white stripes on its back. That's one. Two. Three stripes. Four. Five stripes. Six. And seven. Great. And last, some eyes. We made a zebra. And this one's a color blue. In the wild, zebra are black with white stripes. This is a herd of zebra crossing the road. What's our last animal going to be? Hmm. Oh, I found it. Whoa, what is it? It's a bear. What color shall we use to make our bear? Hmm, let's see, there's so many colors to choose from. How about this color at the end? Yes, the color pink. Let's go make our bear. First, I'll roll out the dough. That looks about right. Then, get the bear cutter and place it in the middle of the dough. Push it down, press the button. And let's take a look at what we've made. Oh, how cute, a pink bear. Let's start decorating. I'll give the bear a nose and two ears and a purple heart. We made a pink bear. There are many different types of bears in the wild, like panda bears. Oh, and there's grizzly bears and polar bears. This looks like a mama bear with her cub. We made so many animals today out of Play-Doh. Let's take a look at what we made. We made an elephant, a lion, a giraffe, a frog, a zebra, a butterfly, and a bear. Fantastic! Thanks for watching and see you next time on Rainbow. Today we're going to make vehicles out of Play-Doh. Which one shall we make first? How about this one? Do you know what shape this is? That's right, it's a boat. Now, which color shall we use? How about this color? The color blue. I'll just move the shape over here and get my blue dough. I need to roll it out really flat so we can make our shape. That looks about right. Now, where's my cutter? I'll put it in the middle right here and press it down, wriggle it around a bit, and remove it carefully. 
can take away the extra dough around the edges. Now we can decorate the boat. The bottom of the boat is called the hull. And now I'm adding the middle piece, where the cabins are. The front of the boat, where the anchor is, is called the bow. And the back of the boat is called the stern. Put some windows in. Now I'll just place this piece where the captain or the skipper will sit. And now I'll make the top of the boat. Let's take a look at what we made. Oh wow! We made a blue boat! What vehicle shall we make next? How about this one? Can you guess what vehicle this is? That's right! It's a helicopter! Now let's pick a color to use. How about this one? The yellow one. Let's go make our helicopter. I'll use my rolling pin to roll out the dough really flat. Now, where's my shape? I'll put it in the middle and press it down and wriggle it around. Pull it out and take away the extra dough around the edges. Now we'll decorate it. I think I'll use this red for the middle piece and some blue for the windows. One and two windows. What's next? How about this piece here and two red rotors at the top? Hmm, I'll put these two here and the bottom of the helicopter. Looks great. I'll just smooth it out a little bit. And I think we're all done. Let's take a closer look at what we made. We made a red helicopter. Shall we make next? How about this one? The green one? What is it? It's a motorbike. Now, which color shall we use to make the motorbike? How about this color? The color green. Now let's make our vehicle shape. Roll out the dough really flat. And now I can make my shape. Pressing it down, moving it around and carefully remove it. Oh, there we go. And let's decorate our motorbike. I'll use a white wheel, I think, and here's the body of the motorbike. And let's make that next wheel. It's made with three pieces. I'll just tidy it up a little bit handlebars and the lights and let's give it a red seat looks great we made a blue motorbike hmm what shall we make next how about this one i know what it is it's a rocket now what color shall we use for our rocket how about this color the color red i'll just place it here roll it out with my rolling pin. That looks about done. Now I'll just get my cutter and place it in the middle, pushing it down, and remove the dough around the edges. Now we're ready to decorate our rocket. I'll put this blue piece here, and I'll make a little window. Place the bottom piece on there. Looks great! We made a red and yellow rocket. There's only one shape left. Can you guess what this is? That's right, it's an airplane. Now, what color shall we use to make our plane? How about this color? The color orange. Now, let's roll it out. I'll just get my cutter and place it here. And wiggle it around. Let's remove the cutter. Great. And I'll 
place this yellow piece here in the middle. And I'll use some white dough for the nose and some blue for the wings. And some white here. And let's put in the windows. Wow, we made a yellow airplane. Look at all the fantastic vehicles we made today together. We made a boat, a motorbike, a helicopter, a rocket, and an airplane. Wow, look at all the animal Play-Doh cutters. Which animal shall we make first? Hmm, how about this one? Can you guess what type of animal this is? That's right, it's a giraffe. Now, what color shall we use to make our giraffe? Hmm, how about orange? Yeah, let's go make it. I'll just put my cutter to the right here and open the Play-Doh. Nice color. Now, I need to roll it out really flat so I can cut out the shape. I've got a whole lot of pattern rollers. Now, which one would be best for a giraffe? How about this one in the middle? Let's try it out. Oh, wow, can you see the pattern? I'll lift it up for you so you can take a closer look. Wow, that looks amazing. Now we're ready to cut out the giraffe shape. I'll just press it down here. And carefully pull it out of the mold. Oh, wow! It's the shape of the giraffe. I have this tub of black and white Play-Doh and I'll make some eyes for the giraffe. I'll take one scoop of white and one scoop of black. There's the eyes. Now mouth. A giraffe has a really long neck. I'll put some hair on it. And I'll just use my little dough cutter to make some detail on the hair. Oh, and I need to give the giraffe a nose. That's better. Hmm, what shall I use this pink for? Ah, how about the giraffe's ears? There's one and two. And I'll use this brown Play-Doh to make the two Aussie cones on the top of the giraffe's head. I'll use some black Play-Doh for the giraffe's feet and some more for its tail. We've finished our giraffe. Looks great. Here comes a real giraffe. Look how tall it is. And this is a family of giraffes walking in the savanna. Their height helps them to reach high up into the trees for food. Now, which animal shall we make next? Ah, how about the crocodile? Oh, yes, let's make this one. Now, which color shall we use for our crocodile? Hmm, uh, how about green? Yes, we'll use green. Let's go make it. Just put the crocodile cutter up here. And let's get out the Play-Doh. And I'll get my rolling pin to roll it out nice and smooth. I have some patterns. Which one shall I use? How about the one in the middle? Yes, this one. That looks a bit like a crocodile skin. Oh, can you see the pattern? Oh, it looks great. Let's take a closer look. Now we're ready to cut out our shape. I'll press it here, down in the middle. And carefully remove the cutter. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Oh, wow! Looks amazing! I'll make some eyes, and a nose, and some feet, and some color for its belly. And I'll put some detail on here. Squish it down there, that looks about right. And now for its back, I'll give it some scales. And all done, we made a crocodile. 
Look, it's a real crocodile. I wonder where it's going. This crocodile has just been for a swim, while his friends are enjoying the sunshine. Crocodiles are really scaly, and they have sharp teeth. That was fun. Which animal shall we make next? I know. How about this one? Can you guess which type of animal this is? That's right. It's a flamingo. And what color are flamingos? That's right. They're pink. Let's go make it. Now, I'll just place my cutter up here so I can roll out the dough. Ooh, it's a really bright pink. This will look great. And roll it out really flat. And I'll get my shape cutter and press it down in the middle. There we go. And take out the mold. Oh, and I've made the outline of the flamingo. Now I'll give it some eyes. And put some color in its beak. And some tuft of hair on the top of its head. And I'll use this pattern roller to make some feathers for its back. I'll use the cutter to make the shape. That looks about right. And then cut it out. And place it here. Now I think I'll make the legs the color orange. I'll press it down here. We made a flamingo. Flamingos have really long legs. Let's count the flamingos. There are one, two, three, four, and five at the beach. Which animal shall we make next? Hmm, how about this one? Do you recognize the shape of this animal? That's right, it's a lion. And what color shall we use? How about yellow? Yes, yellow. Let's go make it. I'll put the lion cutter up here so we can roll out the dough. And I'll use my rolling pin to make it really flat so we can cut out the shape. Now, I'll just get my cutter and I'll press it into the middle of the dough. Let's see what it looks like. Wow, we made the outline of the lion. Now I need to give it a face. I've made the eyes and a nose and mouth, and now I'll make its mane. This special roller has a fur pattern. Wow, can you see the pattern? Looks amazing. Now. I'll cut out the mane using the shape cutter. And press it in here at the top and some at the bottom. I'll use some black play-doh for its feet and for the tip of its tail. Well, we made a lion. And look, it's a real lion. Look at its big mane. This is a lion walking in the savannah. Isn't he beautiful? We only have one more shape cutter left. Hmm, what type of animal is this? It's called a sloth. Now, let's use a fun color this time. How about purple? Yes, this will be perfect. Let's go make the sloth. Now, I'll just put my shape cutter up here and get out the dough. Ooh, it's really purple. And use my roller to roll it out flat. Now I have some patterns. Which one shall I use? Hmm, I think I'll use the fur one, the orange one. Yes. And roll it out. See the pattern. And I'll put my shape cutter in the middle here and press it down firmly. And then take it out. And we've made the outline of the sloth. Now, I'll make a face. I'll use this light color, Play-Doh, and press it in here. And let's take it out and see what it looks like. Oh, I see the sloth's face. 
I'll place it down here and then I'll give it a nose, mouth, two eyes. Press that down there and some pores. Huh, and we made our sloth. This is a real sloth hanging onto a branch. This sloth must have very strong arms. Do you notice that sloths move very slow? Wow, we made all these animals today out of Play-Doh. We made a giraffe, a lion, a crocodile, a sloth, and a flamingo. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Rainbow. I have a basket of fruit and vegetables. What shall we make first? How about this, the strawberry? Wow, it's turned into the cutter. Now all we need to do is find the right color Play-Doh. Hmm, what color shall we use to make the strawberry? What do you think? I know, how about we use the color red? Let's open up the crayon. We have our tub of red Play-Doh. Let's open it up. I have the dough. Now let's go make our strawberry. First I need to roll it out really flat so we can make our shape. I'll just get my cutter and place it in the middle of the dough. Pressing it down. Now all I need to get is the outside of the cutter to cut the shape. Wriggle it around a bit and carefully take it out. I can't wait to see the strawberry, can you? Looks amazing. I'll just remove the extra Play-Doh and I'll put this little green leaf on the top. Looks great! We made our first fruit! A strawberry! What are we going to make next? Hmm, there's a whole lot of fruit and vegetables inside the basket. How about we pick this one? What is it? It's a corn! And we have our cutter. Now let's go find the Play-Doh. What color shall we use? How about yellow? I have this giant egg. And we have a can of yellow Play-Doh. Let's go make the corn. I'll use my rolling pin to roll it out really flat. And get my cutter and place it again in the middle. Pressing it down. Now cut up the outline. And take it out carefully. And let's take a look. Oh wow! I'll just place these green leaves here. And use a special tool to give some detail and then add the green base to the corn. And look, we made a cob of corn. Let's go find something else. Hmm, I'll just move this over here. How about we make this? A bunch of grapes. We have our cutter. Now let's go find the color. It's a purple door. I have the keys. Let's open it up. There's a tub of purple Play-Doh inside. This will be perfect for our grapes. Let's go make them. I'll roll out the dough. It's nice and flat. Let's get our cutter. Pushing it into the dough. Pressing it down and get the outside cutter. Push it down and wriggle it about a bit. Take it out. And let's take a look at what we made. Oh wow, looks amazing. And I'll just give it a little green leaf. We made a bunch of grapes. What's next? How about we make a banana? I'll just peel it first. We have our cutter. Let's go find the color. Hmm, what color?
color shall we choose to make the bananas? Oh no, mm, how about this color, the color yellow? Let's open up the crayon. <gasps> What's this? It's a yellow ball. I'll give it a squeeze. Oh, it's turned orange. And back to yellow again. Oh, and we have our yellow Play-Doh. This will be great for making our bananas. Now let's roll it out. Looks great. Now where's my cutter? Here it is. Pressing it into the middle. And now cut around the outside. Wriggle it around a bit. Take it out carefully. And let's see what we made. Oh, wow. I'll take the extra Play-Doh away. Now I'll put this green piece here and another green piece here. Then some brown bits at the ends of the bananas. Wow, we made a bunch of bananas. What shall we make next? Hmm. Oh, it's a watermelon. I'll just take a slice. And we have our watermelon cutter. Now let's go find a color for it. How about we use the color pink? What if I look under here? Oh, we have our next Play-Doh can. Let's get the dough out. Now we can make our watermelon. Watermelons are usually red inside, but sometimes it can be a little bit pink too. That's why I'm using the color pink this time. I'll get my cutter and place it into the dough. And cut around the outside. And let's take a look. Oh, it's stuck. I'll just peel it off. Oh, wow. It's a really bright pink. I think it needs something a little extra. How about this green around the edge? That looks much better. We made a slice of watermelon. What shall we make next? Mmm, let's see. How about this? It's a yellow pepper. We have our cutter. Now let's go find a color. It's a green door. I have a key. And we have a green tub of Play-Doh. Yes, we'll use the color green, because peppers can come in all different colors like red, yellow, green. I need to roll it out really flat so we can make our shape. Here it is. Press it into the middle. And now I need to cut out the edge. Wow, looks awesome. Hmm, I think I'll just use this brown color for the stalk. And we made a green pepper. Oh, I think I might make this carrot. I have the cutter. Now let's go find a color. Oh, it's a big bowl of gumball. Oh, oh I found a cup of Play-Doh. What color is it? Hmm, the lid is the color orange. This will be great for the carrot. Roll it out. And get my cutter. Pushing it down into the Play-Doh. And let's see what it looks like. Oh, amazing! I have this green for the leaves on top of the carrot. Let's take a closer look at what we made. We made an orange carrot. What's next? Mmm, what's this? It's a pineapple. 
here's our cutter. Now let's go find a color to make our pineapple. Hmm, there's a whole lot of colorful bells. How about we press this one? Oh, and we have a yellow tub of Play-Doh. Yellow will be an excellent color to make our pineapple. Let's roll it out. And get the pineapple cutter. Placing it face down. Pushing it down. And cut around the edge. And let's remove the cutter. I'll just use this green for the crown of the pineapple. Looks great! We made a yellow pineapple. What's next? Hmm, how about we make these two cherries? And here's our cutter. Now let's go find a color. Oh, it's a red door. Lucky I have the key. Let's open it. And we have a red tub of Play-Doh. Red will be an excellent color to make our cherries. Let's roll it out. I'll get my cherry cutter and place it in the middle. Push it down. Now let's cut out the outline. Oh wow, they look amazing! And I think I'll just give the cherries a green leaf here and another leaf here. We made two red cherries. What's the last thing we'll make? It's a pumpkin! And we have our cutter! Did you know that a pumpkin is a fruit? Now what color shall we use to make the pumpkin? How about we use the color orange? Let's open up the crayon! And look! We have an orange tub of Play-Doh! Let's go use this to make our pumpkin. Roll it out. Now, I'll just get the pumpkin cutter, turn it around, and place it into the dough. Push it down. And cut the outside. And let's take a look at what we made. Wow! And all I need to do is give it a green stalk. We made a pumpkin. Look at all the things we made today. A strawberry, a bunch of bananas, a pumpkin, some cherries, a pineapple, a watermelon, a green pepper, a cob of corn, and a carrot, and grapes. Well done! Thanks for watching. And see you next time on Rainy Bow.